you're doing something very cool and very different. You've got what appears to be, at, very, at, at the very least, an interesting helicopter design, but equipped with a parachute recovery system, which we have not seen in the civil hel helicopter industry. Tell me about this program. Well, our owner, after he learned how to fly, decided that he would like to build a helicopter. Curdy actually supplies parts to most European helicopter companies, as well as builds machine equipment for companies around the world. He, about eight years ago, decided he'd like to do this, and five years ago he got his team together, and they put together and they wanted to build the safest, most adaptable, most fun helicopter they possibly could build. They wanted it to be two-place, they wanted it to have a turboshaft engine, and they wanted it to have a parachute. The interesting part about the parachute, quite frankly, is it's designed as a last resort. It sits on top of the mast and it's fixed. You have to fire it to get it off, but the helicopter will auto-rotate beautifully. In fact, if there's any hesitation, auto-rotate. You want to know where you're landing, and that's what auto-rotation gives you. Once you pull the chute, you don't really have a great idea of where you're going to land. The advantage to the chute is you can open it as little as 450 feet above the ground and still land safely. The helicopter comes down at 26 feet per second. Parachutists come down somewhere around 30 feet per second. So we're not destroying the helicopter. It has carbon fiber legs and should be quite resilient. The helicopter only weighs 1,500 pounds, has a 700 pound useful load with full fuel, has a turboshaft engine that's 250 horsepower derated to 100 and 41. Performance is cruise around uh, 90 knots and uh, maximum around 100. It's uh, just a really sweet bird. Curdy has had two of them flying now since 2018. Curdy made a brief appearance at Air Venture in 2019. They're now ready to actually start two programs. One is to get the bird out into the field through a experimental program and, the, and to create our service center, flight instruction programs, and the things we need to to create a family of owners. And that's while we're doing our certification. And eventually, we believe it'll be certified. It has been built to CF27 certification in Europe. Okay. And we looked in the last year to have the, actually have the helicopter built in the US. Every manufacturer we talked to told us our tolerances were too tight, we didn't need to do that, and we, they could save us a lot of money. That's not how we do business. This is an Italian company that is very exacting and has incredible standards. What are the eventual plans for U.S. distribution and sales? And you have to ask the P word, what's the price? Well, we don't know what the price of the certified um, version is. And we're going to Italy to find out what the price of the kit will be for the experimental. We're thinking the certified version might be in the 600s. The kit version we're hoping is somewhere, you know, half or maybe a little more than that. We honestly do not know at this point in time. What we're trying to do with the, the experimental version is get the core enthusiast who really wants to fly a helicopter involved. We're going to take them to Italy. For two weeks, they're going to build this helicopter. They're going to fly it at the end. We're going to ship it back, have instructors and maintenance people available so that they can get checked out and certified in the aircraft. And we'll sort of have dealers and maintenance centers around major hubs so that they can be serviced. The worst thing you can do is give a product to the community that can't be serviced or maintained. And that's not what we're going to do. The company's committed to spend the dollars to do those things. And finally, what's the timeline looking like right now? We would like to get five people through the experimental by the end of the year. That's a, that's a pretty aggressive thing for us, and we're looking to have a certified helicopter anywhere from two to five years. The M600 SLS with Halo System is the first general aviation aircraft in the world that can safely land itself in the event that the pilot is unable. Thanks to Garmin Autoland, the system can be engaged with the simple press of a button. Autoland safely guides the aircraft and your most precious cargo to the nearest airport. The M600 SLS with Halo System, recalibrating the scale of safety.